for it is not those who hear the law romans chapter 2 verse 13 let us pray gracious lord we seek the presence when we learn biblical truth by meditating upon the letter of st paul to the romans here will us to be harness in learning from the bible in jesus name we pray amen we greet you all in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ romans 2:13 for it is not those who hear the law who are righteous in god's sight but it is those who obey the law who will be declared righteous paul is writing about justification faith and righteousness now he explains the meaning of the righteousness those who obey the law not just reading or hearing the law those who obey the law who will be declared righteous and this is very important when it is addressed to the jewish christians as we know that jewish christians bear always comparing themselves with those of gentile christians they were owning the gospel not in positive sense they wanted to impose certain regularities followed by or rituals followed by jewish leaders the visible ritual act was that one male has to undergo circumcision that's the thing other than that they were under the impression that they were selected people chosen people all other other than jewish community or inferior to them god also favored it that's how they were interpreting god has chosen them they were selected they were treated specially all others are inferior we are superior even before going to their place learning the situation issues in rome paul writes this letter stating how they listen obey the laws he was under the impression that all the jewish christians had the wrong notion of treating gentle christians as inferior to them and that's why he says for it is not those who hear the law who are righteous in god's sight but it is those who obey the law who will be declared righteous there was a crisis when there was no drinking water there were murmurs they were opposing moses that time issues get solved at that context god explains how the law was important exodus chapter 15 
verses from 26. Let me read 26 alone. Exodus 15, 26. He said, If you listen carefully to the voice of the Lord, your God, and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commandments and keep all his degrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. We often use only the last two words. Our last line of the last verse, for I am the Lord who heals you. Before that, God explains through Moses how significant the law was. And now it is given that I will not bring on you any of the diseases. There were ten different plagues. It showed that the king and the people, the rulers and the military were against God's law, God's will. And therefore, these ten different plagues were inflicted upon them. Ten different diseases, sufferings, because of those ten different plagues, the society was made under deep pressure. They were put into a lot of crisis because of the plague. They were shocked due to these plagues. And finally, all the male children, they were put to death. These things were known to the first community which started leaving Egypt. They were the wilderness. What they have seen is still in their mind. They have witnessed what was taken place in Egypt on the day of Passover. All the male they were killed because of their behavior, their association with the king. Exodus chapter 12, verse 29. At midnight, the Lord struck down all the firstborn. Exodus 12, 29. In Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh, who sat on the throne to the firstborn, of the prisoner who was in the dungeon and the firstborn of all the livestock as well. Pharaoh and all his officials and all the Egyptians got up during the night. There was loud wailing in Egypt for there was not a house without someone dead. This was the last disease. This was the last attempt by God to make them realize that putting one as slaves was sin against God. They were made to realize and <clears throat> Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron. Verse 30, 31. During the night, Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, Up! Leaving my people, you and the Israelites, go worship the Lord as you have requested. Take your flocks and heads as you have said, and go and also bless me. He was threatened by the act actions of our God. Bless me. All along, he was opposing Moses, 
and Eden. Now God reminds these experiences that was taken place in Egypt and tell these people through Moses, if you obey all the commandments, there will not be any kinds of diseases that were inflicted upon Egyptians. And that's how these laws are very significant to the people of Israel. And again, when, when teachers of the law met with our Lord Jesus, they were asking questions. One such teacher of the law was astonished by the way the Lord was interpreting the meaning of the law. Mark 12, 28. Mark 12, 28. One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating, noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked him. He was satisfied by the way our Lord was interpreting and responding to the people who were asking some questions. Now, he brings a question. Of all the commandments, which is the most important, he was not an ordinary person. He was the teacher of the law. God says, the most important one, answer to Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, God refers Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 and 5. He simply says what was recorded in Deuteronomy 6, 4, and 5. Here, O Israel, that is called Shema. They, they, they tell it as Shema because the word mini, the word Shema means hear, listen. In Greek, it is Simeon, to hear, to listen. Therefore, this prayer in Hebrew is called prayer of Shema. All the male, they used to use this prayer every day. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all our heart and with all our soul and with all our mind and with all our strength. The second is this. He now urges with that commandment. Jesus gives interpretation to the commandment that was given to them, recorded in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 and 5. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Jesus was a good teacher. There was a Rabbi called Hillel, is Hillel, H I L L E L, Hillel. He is -E -L. One gentleman came to him asking or pleading him to learn laws from this Rabbi called Hillel. To the gentleman, Rabbi Hillel answered, what is hateful to you, do not do to your fellow men. What is hateful to you, do not do to your fellow men. That is the whole law. All the rest is interpretation. And there was a philosopher called Moses Ben Maimonides. Maimonides. Moses Ben Maimonides. He lived in the 12th century AD. He said, Torah is truth. And purpose of knowing it is to live by it.
the 12th century philosopher Moses Ben Maimonides, Maimonides said, Torah is truth and purpose of knowing it is to live in it. There is a Jewish proverb, the beginning and the end of Torah is kindness. The beginning and the end of Torah is kindness. We know that first five books are called Torah, Genesis to Deuteronomy. There are 613 commandments, laws, 613. Out of that, 248 are given in positive sense. Do it, respect it, honor it. Likewise, out of 613, 248 laws are positive. 665 are in negative sense. Do not do. For an example, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 11. Do not steal, do not lie, do not deceive one another, do not sever falsely by my name and be so profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. Do not defraud your neighbor or rob him. Do not hold back the wages of hired man overnight. Very important. The daily laborers, they depend on the wages that they get every day. If the master says, no, come tomorrow, which means the entire family has to go to bed without food. In villages, no, I used to see some 40, 50 years ago. Every day they go for agricultural labor. That time they used to get two rupees or three rupees maximum. From the agriculture field directly they go to the provision source. You won't believe. Every day, they buy oil for 25 paise. And 20 paise for other things which are required. Every day, they, they, they spend at least 50 paise for uh, their provision. They used to bring small bottle. to buy oil for 25 paise. Because I used to watch when I go to the shopping, I was just waiting, being a young boy who used to spend time in the markets. Not big markets, hardly two or three shops used to be there. See if the master fails to give the day's labor to a particular man, his family has to go to bed without food. That was the condition that time. So God, 3,000 years ago, gave this commandment, do not hold back the wages of a hired man overnight. So there are 365 negative sins. There are 39 laws based on Sabbath, out of the Sabbath. Out of it, 31 are oral, not found in uh, Old Testament. It's oral tradition uh, dictated by priests and teachers of the law. For it is not those who hear the law, but those who obey only will be considered as righteous. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, Help us to be righteous in thy sight by following and obeying the laws. In Jesus' name we pray.